Hey y'all, Ben Brick here. I'm out on a snowy day in the south. This is our first real snow where I am in North Carolina. And I'm out scouting around looking for two things the forest can provide. I'm looking for burls because I want to carve a kuksa, a traditional cup. And I am looking for fatwood. And I haven't had any luck on the burls, but I did have some luck on the fatwood. And um, I'll show y'all where I found it and how I harvested it and how I'm going to process it a little bit later on. Um, that might be more than one video, but anyway, you'll see. So, I'm going to keep scouting and I'll fill you in later. A place in the wood with lots of blowdowns often yields some fallen pines. These are susceptible in the winter to heavy ice and snow. And that gives me an excellent place to look for fatwood. My Baco Laplander saw at the joint where the limb meets the trunk soon yields some fat wood. As my stroll through the woods continues, the new fallen snow begins to reveal some things like animal tracks that I would not see before. But because the ground is hard packed, the new snow settles on it first, revealing these hidden pathways through the woods. I emerge at one point behind an old beaver dam that has since been drained by the local government. luck after all looking for a burl. But I gotta say, I can't complain. This has been absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It's, uh, it's gorgeous out here. Uh, the sound of the snow coming down, you can hear it, you know, glittering like ice. Sort of, I don't know, vaguely clicky metallic sound as the snow comes down. But to see the the landscape get covered up is especially rewarding. And to see things like those animal trails that I saw, things that I wouldn't see ordinarily as I'm moving through here, but all of a sudden they become apparent. Very neat. 